The core part of working in Microsoft Teams is communicating with a group of people, and that group is called a team. Now, some people will create their own teams, and we'll see how to do this in another video. But most people will simply join existing teams that other people have created. So on the sidebar on the left, I want to make sure that the team category is selected. And then the big column beside that, you'll see a list of all the teams that you're a member of. One very common scenario is when somebody else creates a team and then adds you as a member. When that happens, you will be a member of that team. That team will show up here on the list. But another possibility is that you might need to manually join a team that somebody in your organization has created, but they did not add you to it. To do that, we'll click this button down here at the bottom that says join or create a team. And if the options on the right weren't already open, they would open after you've clicked the button. Now on the screen, you might see some suggested teams, but you might also need to search for a specific team using the search bar up here. Public teams will always show up in your search results. Private teams, on the other hand, might be set to hidden or can be set to discoverable. Only private teams that have been set to discoverable will show up in the search results. So here's a team that I want. As you can see, it says public. That means the person who created it is happy to have any new members join if they want. By hovering over the team, there's a button that says join team. If it were a private team, there would also be a button that says request to be added to the team. And later, you'll learn how to post messages and have a conversation in your teams. So these are the most common ways of joining a team by far. Either somebody adds you to a team that they've created and it just shows up on your list, or you find a specific team or a public team to join. So you may receive in your email or in some other form a code to join a team. This is usually to join a private team. You then may enter the code over here and click join team. Now, the code is a little bit more direct. If you receive a code, you do not have to request permission to join the team. Just enter the code and join the team. By far, it is much more common that somebody will add you to the team directly or you'll find a public team and join it manually.